Aw oh, yeah, Rivers here with some cool tech, and today I want to talk to you about remote controls. So a lot of you have Android media players or just some kind of media player that's a smart box that makes your TV smarter than it was before. And one of the most important things to really getting the most out of the box and enjoying it the most is making sure that you have a good remote control. So I've got a bunch of different remotes. I've tested quite a few over the years and I've, it's always been important to me to have a good remote control. So I've got a bunch of my favorites up here. I'm gonna go over each remote and tell you what I like and what I don't like about it. Okay, so here we've got a keyboard that you would use on a computer, but it's got a touchpad on the side here. And I know what you're thinking, if you need to drag something, it's gonna be kind of a pain to drag it if you've got, uh, you've got to put both hands over on one side, but it's got a left click button over on the left side too, so that you can click with the left hand and drag with the right hand. So works really good. This is a really popular choice, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of typing and searching and things like that. Plus, over on the back, it's got the uh, removable back plate where you've got the USB dongle saved inside. And to me, that's a nice plus because then you don't have to worry about losing it. Especially for me, I lose them easily. Next up, we've got this remote by Minix, and it's an air mouse remote control. It's got toggle buttons, and it's got a keyboard on the back. So this is something if you wanted to type quite a bit less, but you needed to type on a keyboard, this is the way to go. You don't like, especially if you don't like to use the on-screen keyboard with the air mouse functionality. So this guy works pretty good. Um, I use it for like a Windows, like the Minix Z64, where you have to put in passwords and type and put caps and stuff like that in a lot. This guy is pretty nice to have. It's a lot easier than the Air Mouse remote control only on one that you're gonna be typing a lot, so. Next up, we've got a new one from RII or RE, and this guy is really cool because it's got a touch pad on it, and it also has the Air Mouse capability, which is like the best of both worlds. I love this remote control. It's also got light up letters on it, so at night if you wanna, if you wanna be able to see what you're typing, you can turn on the lighting up letters. And also on top, it's got what looks like a joystick, and it can be used as a, a gamepad or joystick if the manufacturer of the box builds it into their system. So, so this one has a really good range as well, so it works great, no cutting out. And in the back, again, it's got the hidden option for your USB dongle to go in the back there, which is a nice option. Okay, next up we have a more minimalist remote. This is the Remote Plus. It came with a ProBox 2 EX, but you can buy it separately. And this one is actually one of my favorites. This is the one I day-to-day day day use a lot because the air mouse functionality on this remote is very smooth and accurate, which makes this remote the easiest to use. I don't do a lot of typing, but when I need to, this remote can handle it. Plus it's got really good range and it barely uses any batteries at all. It's also got a microphone button for voice to text, but it doesn't work very well, so I don't use it much. And finally, you can even turn this remote sideways and hit the function button twice and play basic video games with it. Anyways, this is the main air mouse I use because of the good air mouse responsiveness and the good battery life. Now we've got the Minix M1 remote control, and this comes with a lot of boxes when you get a special package uh, that I link to a lot of times. So this is a good remote since it's included with a box. It's better than just a IR toggle remote because you can get inside of apps and mouse around and do things you need to. But it's not ideal. I've had better mousing. It's a pretty good remote, but uh, I, it's not my day-to-day -day driver. Also, the battery seems to run out pretty quick, especially if you don't turn the little switch off on the back. It's got a built-in rechargeable battery, so you can just plug it in. But I like, but the Remote Plus, I just leave it for weeks and weeks and it's always working. This guy, if I leave it for weeks and weeks and I don't flip that switch off, it's gonna be dead. I thought I would mention the remote that came with the Amazon Fire TV and also the uh, Nexus TV player, the uh, Google version. They both have awesome voice search on it. Works like 95% of the time it gets it right. Even if it's something weird that's not a real word like saying some cool tech, it will just find it. It works awesome. So, so if you want something that does really good voice search, get a Fire TV or a Nexus player. The voice search is just amazing on it. I can see actually this is the wave of the future because the voice search is so good, you almost don't even need to type if it can do passwords at least. So highly recommend a Fire TV if you want voice search. The remote's only a toggle remote, so you can't get like a web browser and things like that in there, which is, which is kind of disappointing, but you could plug in a mouse into some of those units and use it if you had to, but Anyway, just thought I would mention it because the remote is just so dang good on here. And if you get the Fire Stick, it's not as good. You don't get the voice search, and that to me is key. So, All right, guys, I'm gonna put links to all the remotes that I just showed in this video in the order of my preference in the video description down below. 
If you enjoyed this video, hit that little like button. That'll help me out so much. And be sure and subscribe to my channel. That way YouTube will notify you whenever I release a new video. Also check me out on Facebook, like me over there because I give sneak previews of upcoming reviews and contests. And also it's a good place to just talk to me if you want to. So, all right guys, thanks again for watching and as always, aloha.